Well, here's your first picture. I'm working with two iPads here, so bear with me. I'll be punching the wrong one, most likely. It's such a beautiful day today, and I think I'm going to get out, go somewhere, and do a little shopping. Don't know what kind, but it won't matter just to be out in the beautiful sunshine. Now, this is my follow-up to my meatloaf recipe. You've uh, been very good about responding, and your comments have just been wonderful. Makes me feel good. Makes me say, yes, I can meet, make a meatloaf. And like I said, this is the way Mama made it. Now, what I'm showing you now is a picture I took. And this is after the meatloaf has been in the refrigerator overnight. You can see it to the left. Uh, actually, it shrunk a little in the loaf pan. And uh, it went down to what you might call half size sandwich you can make a half a sandwich with one nice thick piece of meatloaf i can tell you now it's good if i say it's good it's good so uh, this is your first picture and i added a few little things with it you know i'm a coleslaw person I'm very particular about my coleslaw. I never can find coleslaw in restaurants that I like as well as my own. And I'm not going to do a video on coleslaw because it's too simple uh, a dish to make. It's too easy. You can I can just tell you what to do, and that's all you need. Now, ordinarily, I would grate my, co my cabbage. But I found the coleslaw, the what they call the angel hair coleslaw at the grocery in a little package. And I buy that now, and it's still not fine enough for me. So I have a, a cute little gadget that I can chop with, and I chop my cabbage finer to suit my own taste. And you can tell this by looking at the picture. So... All I put in my coleslaw, and, and if you're using a regular cabbage head, grate it. Add grated carrot. I used up all of my green pepper for my meatloaf, so I didn't have any left. But ordinarily, I would put a, just about a tablespoonful of uh, chopped green pepper in it. It not only... It gives you a little better taste, but it makes the coleslaw look pretty. So keep that in mind. Now, I, I add about a teaspoon, level teaspoon of sugar to my mayonnaise. I like my coleslaw to be sweet. I don't use the... Uh, um, other uh, additions, the uh, liquid that you sometimes put in gives them a tart taste. I don't like tart coleslaw. So this is a very simple recipe. Grate your cabbage, grate your carrots, a little bit of green pepper, teaspoon of sugar. Now, of course, the amount of sugar you use depends on how much cabbage you're gonna have. Are you feeding one person or are you feeding four people? If you're feeding four people, you'll need a heaping teaspoon of sugar and the mayonnaise according to what it takes to uh, blend the things together. That's your coleslaw. So now let's go from that and <clears throat> I'm going to go to the next picture, I think. Let's see. Maybe I'm not. Ah, oh, here we go. Same ingredients. Um, I added a few grapes and apples just for color, if nothing else. And everybody needs a little bit of fruit. 
but keep in mind, I've had those grapes a few days and they don't have the shine to them anymore, but they're still edible. And I like grapes. I keep them on hand all the time. Of course, I have to have my Dr. Pepper. A meal like this requires a Dr. Pepper. So you see, there's my meatloaf, my lettuce, the bread. Now that bread is Italian bread. It's thicker, got a thicker uh, slice. So you can buy, I, I sometimes like the Pepperidge Farm uh, thin slices of bread. They're great for party uh, treats. And the apple, that's, um, let me see if we, I know the name of the apple, you know the name of the apple, but I can't think of the name of the apple, so you'll know which one it is that I'm trying to describe. Let's go to the next picture. There's a closer look of the, at the meatloaf. You see the little white spot right there? Well, that's that bread that I wet and squeezed the water out of it, and a little bit of it didn't get blended as well as the rest of it did. So, that's no big deal. I just wanted to explain what that little white spot was. Let's go to the next picture. I'd say this is the overall of the um, meatloaf sandwich. This is a cold meatloaf. It held together very well when I put it in the refrigerator, cut it, put it in the refrigerator. And, well, I didn't cut it first. I had to take it out of the loaf pan. That was the biggie. You know how that is when you're trying to take a, the first slice of pie out of a pie pan and it falls apart. That's what I expected when I started taking the meatloaf out of the loaf pan, but it held together very well. I refrigerated it overnight and then I cut it just before I put it on the tray. I've got the lettuce. I like lettuce with my meatloaf and the dishes on the right, just below the coleslaw, one is mayonnaise, one is mustard. That's for your preference, and you may want ketchup instead. I don't think you need the ketchup. You've got it on your meatloaf, and that's enough tomato for this meal. So I hope if you haven't tried the meatloaf recipe yet, give it a try. But the important thing is you've got to get a good grade of ground beef. That's the main thing. The rest is up to you what you want in your meatloaf. You can't see the green pepper in this meatloaf because I had it chopped pretty fine. But the Dr. Pepper is a must for me. So I hope this helps you when you start making your meatloaf. I'm getting ready to heat my meatloaf. I don't like cold meatloaf sandwiches. I want my meatloaf hot. So I put it in the microwave before I put my sandwich together. And I've got my coleslaw ready. It's just enough for me. So you can see I used about a half teaspoon of sugar for this much cabbage. And you know those little uh, carrots you get in the package? You get They've got the little bitty ones, and then they've got those that are about as big around as your thumb, you know, like, about like that. Yeah. And I grate one of those in my cabbage and that my coleslaw. So give it a try too with your meatloaf, hot or cold sandwich. The lettuce is fresh, it's nice and crispy, and uh, you've got a bite of grapes and apple to finish off your lunch. Have a good day, everybody. I enjoy all of your comments, and you've just made me feel super duper special.
Thank you.